It's early morning, and Kelly, Tomash, Vicky, and Adam are on their way to face their next challenge. Metropolitan Police Academy. Jeez. It is the police, it is the police. Welcome to the Metropolitan Police Training Centre here in Hendon in North London. This is without doubt the biggest police force in the country. It's also one of the biggest police forces in the world. Over 2,000 recruits come through here every single year. Today, you have the honour of preparing lunch for 120 <laughs> recruits and staff. <laughs> you are in teams. Have you ever done um, aubergine? No, I've never done aubergine. I don't like. You don't like aubergine? Okay, well, don't do it then if you can. I'm not going to do it because um, I want to taste it. My dad was trained here. He, he was a police officer and graduated, I don't know, 57, 59. So, yeah, being, being at Hendon, yeah, that's um, a bit of a connection. Right now, for me, my biggest concern will we actually get dessert for the blue team? but they're going to have to push hard. First opened in 1934, Hendon Police College is the principal training centre for London's Metropolitan Police Service. Hendon's really important because it's the start of your journey as a police officer. It's helping to prepare you for the role that you're going to do. All the 30,000 police officers currently serving in the Met have passed through Hendon, receiving 19 weeks of intensive training before officially joining the force. Being a cop's more than learning the law, it's dealing with and supporting vulnerable people. You know, we are the 24-7 organisation that people, people always call. The rigorous training programme comprises of lectures, exercise drills and role-play training. There's just a tight one-hour lunch break for police cadets to recoup before returning to their studies. Time is absolutely essential. They'll pause the training, they have to have their food and they have to be back in for training, so there is absolutely no give or flexibility. <laughs> Chefs, 50 minutes! It's not long! You need to start pushing it now. Prep for the blue team's crumble is finally underway. I'm so relieved to be out of that raw section. We've got to move on a bit now. And Tomash is working on a broccoli side to accompany both the main dishes. I'm still a little bit worried. What are you uh, worried about? With time. Is Chef panicking yet? Not especially, but we've got to get a move worry. on. Yeah, I know we've got to get a move on, but if she's not panicking, that's the result. Is that rhubarb not on yet? No, I've just finished it. Right, let's get that in then. Make that your last apple and let's get it on. Yeah. A little bit of water, a little bit of sugar, not like loads. Yeah? yeah. And let's just whack it up and get it cooking. All right. Right, where, where's sugar? On the red team. Yeah. <laughs> They're definitely done. Morning classes are almost over for the police cadets. Guys, you've got literally 10 minutes maximum. No worries, babe. Yeah? We've got this. Lovely Kelly looking great, mate. Come on, come on. An orderly queue of 120 cadets and staff is forming outside the restaurant. Five minutes, guys. We need to get it out now on the hot counter. Sam and Kelly, give it a check, mate. Salmon's done. Woohoo! The day is quite intense. Um, there's quite a lot of theory um, to learn the laws and your powers. So it is really important to get a nice, decent lunch. I think that's beautiful. Do you think? Stop with the hooky! No, <laughs> they look so pretty. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. Those, yeah? Out of the cases, please. Yeah. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Great! Puts up! Cheesecake! Yes, lad! Come on! There you go, just come and grab them. If you want cream, we've got cream here and I'll dollop it on for you. For dessert, Adam and Tomash are serving apple and rhubarb crumble with Chantilly cream. That's beautiful. Thank you. The rhubarb is cooked to perfection. It's really soft, the apple in there as well. It's really, really nice. So quite a bit of fruit in it as well, which was quite nice. And yeah, the cream on top made it even sweeter. That's a great crumble. You got an oaty, crumbly sweet top, and you got enough sourness from the rhubarb inside to give it sharpness. That is a good crumble. There you go, sir. Come and get it, guys. Cheers. <laughs> 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 Fun. Oh my God, that was that? Was so unreal. hard work. Unreal. I'm really impressed with both teams, you know, seriously impressed. I think they did brilliantly. I'm amazed. I'm absolutely, I'm amazed. I can't believe it. It's 120 people between the four of us. But it was really enjoyable. If you ever go into your works canteen and moan about anything, you've got no idea how much work they've put in. So just enjoy the food and smile. That was probably one of the best things I've ever done in my life. And that sounds like such a dramatic thing to say, but I actually feel like I could cry. And that, <laughs> I feel really emotional and I don't know why. It was a real buzz. Real buzz. And I've really got into it now. I'd like to get to the fire and don't tell no one. <laughs> <laughs> Today, our four came in here with the heartfelt desire to feed people good food. They're full of energy, they're full of emotion, and they're going to have to fight it out. Fight it out for a place in the semi-final. Oh. I'm still <laughs> Get away! You're the enemy! 